Hello, I'm Pinakin Dave, Professor of Optometry at Western University of Health Sciences, and today I present our results on physiologic anisocoria under various lighting conditions. Pupillary dynamics and measurements form important evaluation techniques in clinic. These are routinely performed and may be performed using simple gadgets like a ruler or high-tech infrared devices with video capture system. These high-tech devices are very sensitive to measurement and changes and can measure pupils in the range of one-tenth of a millimeter. Anisocoria is conventionally or traditionally defined as difference in pupil size between eyes greater than or equal to 0.4 millimeter. This could be physiologic, meaning normal, healthy variation, or it could be pathological. And if one suspects disease, advanced testing is needed. We looked at a group of healthy individuals and we used a, an infrared video capture system to measure the pupil dynamics. The pupil dynamics were measured under four lighting conditions, scotopic, low mesopic, high mesopic, and photopic conditions. These were to simulate nighttime, dawn or dusk lighting conditions, or daytime lighting conditions. What we find was very interesting that one-third of the individuals showed anisocoria under daylight conditions, and about 70% of the subjects showed anisocoria under at least one of the lighting conditions. If we use a different cutoff and a stringent criteria of greater than or equal to 0.6 millimeter to define anisocoria, we still find one-fifth of the subjects showed anisocoria under photopic conditions, and about half the group showed anisocoria under at least one lighting conditions. But if we insisted that anisocoria be defined as a condition that is present under all lighting conditions, only 2% of our subjects had anisocoria. The clinical take-home message from this study would be that we should be aware of high prevalence of anisocoria with these advanced high-tech devices, and insisting on a higher cutoff and presence of anisocoria under all lighting conditions may avoid unnecessary testing. Thank you.